Today, we will look at range trading strategies with examples. With our last big range, I took so many trades, I forgot to count it actually. Today, we will do great trade practices of internal trading strategies. We will cover all six different trading strategies that works best with the ranges. I'll also talk about how to determine your entries, your targets, and your stop losses. Never forget, risk management is essential. Okay, we have so much to do. If you are ready, let's start. Welcome our free trading course, all about price action trading strategies and smart money concepts. If you love scalping or day trading or even swing trading and looking for range and deviation with internal and external strategies, check out my free trading course. You can find the links on Google Drive or directly from my website which is in the description. And please, try to watch videos in order, otherwise it can be hard to understand. Ok, as you know we traded this range so many times with the followers on Twitter. How do I know? Because I traded myself and posted the results on Twitter. I also saw other people kept trading it. I traded this range around 4-5 times. This is why I love ranges so much. It gives you many trading setups to trade. How did we identify this range? First of all, you can see the touch points which create our range low, range high, and EQ zones. This is how our range was determined in the beginning. As I said, anyone can identify completed ranges. It's a piece of cake. What matters is identifying the ranges in the beginning, when they start to form. Let's do trade practices on the range. How can we use the multiple time frames and multiple trading strategies to trade ranges? As you remember from the last video, our first strategy was double manipulation. If you closely look at the chart, the price strongly breaks above here, creating a large deviation. Normally, I do not like these big deviations. I have to watch the price and see if it gets back to the range to call them true deviations. Later on, price does another breakout at the range low. As you can see, it creates a double manipulation, creating two deviations, trapping all breakout traders short and long and our double manipulation shape appears clearly. Now, as I mentioned before, breaker blocks work great with ranges. I know people only trade ranges and breaker blocks, an amazing combination. This breaker block was a great place to look for entries. You can easily target range lows with this trade as I usually do. My stop losses are quite large and this is how I like to trade. I just cannot trade like other people who keep setting very tight stop losses with 10, 15 hour setups. I do not know how do they do it, but I cannot. If we look at the same chart, you'll notice the same thing happens again with a long opportunity. Price double manipulates people and traps people again, another two deviations. So basically deviations mostly present trapped breakout traders. This is what market makers love to do. You can clearly see the strong break and imbalance in the range low area. This is what we do. We look for suitable longs in discount areas and range lows. Looking for shorts in premium areas and range highs. With this demand and imbalance, this was a nice trade. I know many people traded this range low and exactly this position. I was getting the same profit images on Twitter. Now another way to trade ranges is the optimal trade areas inside the range. However, this trade should be quick in and out because the price is always trying to deviate and trap breakout traders mostly. When you draw your OTE inside the range zone, then you can wait for an opportunity. Remember. We never jump to trades blindly. Oh, price came to the OTE zone, let me enter a trade. No, never. We always wait for confirmations, clear entry areas, and clear targets to aim for. You can notice that the price breaks here strongly. Later on, it came back to the discount area where we look for longs. It matches our OTE area and also has a nice imbalances. 
it is also a demand area with another block. There is actually a mitigation block as well. All in all, a strong area to take the trade. Do we have targets? Yes, very clear on taking liquidity. There is also the range high area. I did not take this trade. However, if I did, it would be like this. Very large stop loss aimed at the very bottom swing. With a clear target stop hands and range high. This is how trading should be. Not like 50R winners on the internet. 1.5R or 2R or 3R. These are great targets. I want to stress this out a hundred times. Breaker blocks, breaker blocks and breaker blocks. Keep your eyes on breaker blocks when you trade ranges. It is backtested a lot with many traders. Somehow breaker blocks work extremely well with ranges. Now, I traded the setup a couple of times. These were nice and easy trades actually. Price was already deviating on a range high for a long time and looking for a direction. I noticed this extremely clear swing failure pattern above. And a strong break with the breaker block an extremely powerful supply area. After that, I was watching three things actually. Hunted liquidity, forming liquidity, and imbalances. This was a quick and nice trade to take. My main target was entering back to the range and hunting the forming liquidity. Our breaker block was an extremely powerful supply area. It kept rejecting the price. Once I had this secondary swing failure set up, this was obviously another great entry area. As you can see folks, we never jumped the trades. Like price in the range high deviation, let's take a short here. No, never. We always look for reasons and confirmations to trade. Another good way to trade ranges is using reverse optimal trade entries, R-O-T-E. It also matches our double manipulation strategy. When I saw this structure, I already knew that this was a possible R-O-T-E structure to trade. R-O-T-E works much better with high time frames. When I trade with price action, I always look for the same thing. Hunted liquidity and forming liquidity. You can clearly see that this stop loss point hunted below is also a swing failure pattern. Very nice and clean. Not just that, if you look closely, all this uptrend liquidity was swept away. What is liquidity? It is fuel. It is the reason for prices to move in other directions. If you look closely, you can also witness of the forming liquidity above, a reason to go up. Once the price comes into our entry point, we are getting multiple confirmations. Range discount, range low, ROTE discount area, the ROTE optimal trade entry area, and the imbalance. As you can see, this is the layer system. Many structures keep lining up at the same price level. This could be a great 2 or 3 R setup to trade. Again, what I do here is set realistic setups. Other tradable setups are the power of 3 concepts inside ranges. These are basically small ranges inside the big ranges. Manipulations inside manipulations. This could be hard to identify and trade. As you can see, there is a little accumulation here. Actually, a smaller range inside the big range happening. Price is forming liquidity above and below, as you can clearly see. This is basically a triangle pattern. Actually, all triangle patterns are just squeezing liquidity with both sides. They are always expanding to the one side. There's another thing here. Drop base drop. Creating a natural supply area. And the price keeps being rejected here. It also collides with range high zones. So many confirmations. Finally, the price manipulates above, testing the range high. Which also creates another important swing failure pattern. And finally completes the form of power of 3. 
I know, it all seems very complicated, but in time, with the power of a lot of practice, all of this will appear to you easily. I did not learn all of this in a single day. Finally, swing failure based trade setups. Guys, you have to master swing failure patterns. As you know, it is the core of all my trading setups. Just rewatch this video and see how many times I stated the swing failure pattern. Extremely important. This was another trade that I actually took. Once I saw this big wig being hunted, I had to open low time frames and look for entries. To be honest, I do not even remember the exact point of my entry. But this break is important. There are forming liquidity below with giant imbalances to be corrected. There's a nice mini premium and discount area above. This could have been a great entry. If I remember correctly, my entry was somewhere around here. Anyway, I want to state something. Trading is a statistical game. Not all the setups will work. You just need to keep focusing on making more money than you lose. Okay, folks, we completed part three here. The internal trading strategies of range and deviation trading with all the trade examples. The next video will be about external trading strategies. So how we can also look outside of the ranges. These are great strategies for scalping, day trading, or even swing trading. I believe that it will be really helpful in your trading life. I hope you subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thank you. Please take care and see you soon.